Let's take a look at the five most important weapons easily available for you to use to keep yourself and those you love safe and secure. In our never-ending quest for self-preservation, I hear a lot of talk about the best weapons for self and home defense. I want to tell you my slightly different perspective and give you something to think about. Let's frame the overall problem by first taking a look at vulnerability, and then the leading causes of death, and then we will move on to the top five weapons to safeguard our lives. Many of us work so hard to become invulnerable. We build big walls to keep out the bad guys, and we buy big guns to defend what's inside these walls. But the truth is, no matter how hard we try, we are all vulnerable. The COVID virus has reminded us that something so small that we can't even see it has the power to stop the world. Car accidents happen. Medical emergencies happen. People we love will hurt us. Natural disasters happen. The point isn't to scare you, it's simply to remind us that we're all vulnerable. The goal should not be to be invulnerable. That's impossible. The goal is being less vulnerable. Let's move on to the threat. Life is a special operation, and in our quest to live our best lives in abundance, there are several threats out there that steal, kill, and destroy. According to a recent article by U.S. News & World Report, the leading causes of death in the United States are heart disease, cancer, accidents, chronic lower respiratory diseases, strokes, Alzheimer's disease, diabetes, influenza and pneumonia, kidney disease, and suicide. Please note that violent crime and war didn't even make it onto this top 10 list. Looking at this list, we see that the majority of these causes of death are health failures, a mental health failure, and accidents. And this means that we can avoid the top 10 threats to our existence by being healthy and avoiding or surviving accidents. And this leads us to the number one most important weapon that we have. It's not a gun. It's not a knife. It's our brain. Your brain is the best offensive and defensive weapon in your arsenal. If you strengthen your brain by continuously learning, then you will make good decisions that will preserve your life. For example, if you're smart enough to care about eating healthy, then you will not get fat and you will have an exponentially greater prognosis for a long and healthy life. If you aren't smart enough to know better, you will simply eat what is cheap and fast. You will get unhealthy or fat and you will make yourself vulnerable to disease and health problems. If you are smart enough to exercise regularly and to stay in shape, then you will have the potential to live a fuller, happier, and longer life. If you aren't smart enough to take care of the body you are given, then your body will break down. Healthy is the new wealthy. If you don't take care of your mental or spiritual health, then you are more likely to do something tragic to yourself. And if you don't make good decisions or prepare or safeguard your assets, then you're gonna suffer the consequences. Let's move on to the second best weapon you already have. Your vehicle is an amazing killing machine. In the United States alone, we have six million car accidents a year. That's over 16,000 accidents a day. 37,000 Americans are killed each year because of car accidents. That's 90 deaths per day. My sister was driving a Prius when she got a job at a children's hospital. After a few months of seeing injured children, she bought a Volvo XC90. If you go into the parking lot of a special operations group, you are gonna notice that the stupid macho factor of the cars in the parking lot are a 10 out of 10. This is because we're trained to win. We're trained to survive. And so we drive cars that protect us. I'm not gonna drive a smart to save a few dollars on fuel I'm going to drive a tank so that I can and will survive a crash. Your cell phone is also a great self-protection weapon. Not to smash somebody with or to hurt a bad guy, but to call for help. Or to see or to record what's going on. Or to help your friends and family geolocate you. If you want to combine weapon number two, the car, and number three, the cell phone, we get the statistic that says 1.6 million car accidents a year are caused by cell phone use while driving. That's a very scary statistic. Makes me want to drive something big and safe, right? 
For so many reasons, the flashlight is a great defensive weapon. Unlike a baton or pepper spray or a pistol, you are always allowed to bring a flashlight anywhere you want. If you're stressed out and you accidentally beat somebody or you pepper spray them or you shoot someone, you're gonna go to jail. But if you accidentally flash someone in the eyes with a flashlight, they're gonna forgive you. Not being able to see your threat makes you very vulnerable. Being able to see the threat allows you to avoid it or to confront it. I've got a flashlight next to my bed, one in each of my cars, one on my keychain, and one on each weapon. I'm planning to make a video in the future which showcases my flashlight collection and my logic behind it. But the takeaway here is that being able to see the threat is the first step to fight or to avoid the threat. Let's move on to our finances. Money is a weapon system. During one of my deployments, my crazy boss gave me a 400 page book that explained all of the US fund sources. He asked me to read it through and to get us quote, more than our fair share. So I read the book and I found several sources of funding that I didn't even know existed. We got money for construction projects. We got money for humanitarian outreach projects. We got money for some top secret stuff. We got money for infrastructure development. I mastered the money game and was able to get my guys the resources they need to make a big difference. The same goes for civilian life. If you're making bad financial decisions, then you are probably too busy living paycheck to paycheck to be able to purchase those things required to live a safe and more secure life. When I first started my YouTube channel, I made several videos which summarized the best financial advice books on the market. These videos did not get a lot of views or attention, but I stand by them nonetheless. If you're not making good decisions with your money, it will be harder for you to upgrade your situation. You will focus on survival, not on education and planning ahead. You will buy the cheap car, not the tank with seven airbags. You will have an unreliable flashlight, not the reliable one. You will live in the bad neighborhood, not the safe one. I think you get the point. Use your resources wisely to prepare for your future. I hope you've enjoyed my summary of the top five weapons and are now able to safeguard yourself and your loved ones. The fact is, I own some guns, some great ones, and I'm really talented at using them. Nothing beats having firearms and knowing how to fight, period. But this channel is not a gun channel, it's an educational channel. Life as a special operation is about making good decisions. It's about developing systems, planning ahead, and using your brain to significantly improve your effectiveness and your quality of life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and to forward this to a friend who needs to know this. Life is a special operation. Are you ready for it?